Jesus, how are you? I hope by the grace of God you are all fine. Okay, this morning we'll be looking at an aspect of mathematics called geometry. And the topic under which we'll be studying is angles. Angles. When we talk about angles, these are angles. This is an angle that is an angle okay so this is what we are coming to talk about when you open your door your, your door opens at an angle when you open your book your book opens at an angle so we are coming to talk about angles and specifically naming of angles and types of angles naming of angles and types of angles thank you let's start we learned in previous classes that when you have a line you call it what a ray okay we call it a ray. Very good. So then, when you have two rays intersecting, you see, this is a ray. That is a ray. When you have two rays intersecting, you get what is formed. That is an angle. You get an angle formed. So two, inter two intersecting rays end up forming an angle so you can basically say that an angle is formed when two rays meet or an angle is what is formed when two rays meet the two rays meeting to form the angle are called the sides or arms of the angle so this is the angle but then this is the side or that is the arm of the angle so even with your clock I say it's three o'clock, but then the hour arm and the minute arm forms an angle. So these are the arms or the sides of the angle. I hope you get it. So that is how angles are formed. Very good. Now, I said we'll look at naming of angles. Naming of angles, which is very, very simple. It is very, very simple. If you want to name an angle, so they give you this angle, they tell you this is B, this is A, and C. To name this angle, can I see? Okay, good. To name this angle, there are two ways. You either use this or that. Now let me explain better. To, to name it, we start with that. You can write any of these letters first, but make sure where the angle is, is in the middle. This is what I'm talking about. To name this angle, angle, that is our less than sign, okay? Angle C, A, B. It could be angle B, A, B c well this way or that way just make sure where the angle is is always in the middle perfect the other way around is you write your c a b then you put this sign on top of a indicating that the angle is at a but then you don't have any right to say a c b then you put it here no you are wrong where the angle is is always supposed to be in the middle so the only option you have is another b a c then with your sign on top it's very simple so let's take some two more examples let's take some two more examples 
you have T K D. This becomes either angle T P K T P K or angle K P T. Still the P is in the middle. Then the other one that is T P K with the angle sign on top of the P or K P T with the angle sign on top of the P. So that is how we name angles. That is how we name angles. Very good. Then as I said, we talk about types of angles. Types of angles. Talking about types of angles, the very first type I want us to know is when you have a vertical line meeting a horizontal line. We call it perpendicular. It is perpendicular to it. Like the walls of your room. It is perpendicular to the floor of your room. Okay? And the angle created over there, the wall of your room meeting the floor of your room, the angle created over there is what we call right angle. So this symbol is symbol for right angle. So we have right angle. Right angle. So that is what? 90 degrees. It is 90 degrees. This sign is always 90 degrees. And we call it right angle. Right angle. That is the first type of angle. Now, we have an angle that is less than 90 degrees. That is less than 90 degrees. So, these are 90 degrees. Let's use imaginary lines to indicate our 90 degrees. But then you have an angle that is like this. It's less than 90 degrees. This angle is called acute angle. Acute angle. It's less than 90 degrees, so it's called acute angle. So now I clean it and see what I'm talking about. It's less than 90 degrees. So let me put this there. We go to the other one. I'm still using 90 degree to help you see it. Okay. I'm still using 90 degree to help you see it. So we look at this. These are 90 degree. So if you have an, an angle that is more than 90 degree, it's more than 90 degree, but then less than 180 degree. We call it obtuse. obtuse angle obtuse angle o b t u s e obtuse angle obtuse angle now you realize i said more than 90 degrees but less than 180 so which means it ranges is between 90 and 180 okay and this acute angle is between 0 and 90 but this right angle is exactly 90 degree okay good 180 degree angle that is 180 degree is a straight line the angle formed on a straight line is 180 degree okay so if you have an angle that is greater than 180 degree you see I didn't indicate the inside the inside will be acute but the outside is greater than 180 which means it has turned all the way round okay now we call this kind of angle reflex angle reflex angle very good so we have the various types of angles on the board right angle acute angle obtuse angle and reflex angle remember right angle is exactly 90 degrees a typical example is your wall 
and your floor how your wall meets your floor 90 degrees then acute angle is less than 90 degrees obtuse angle is more than but less than 180 degrees then reflex angle is more than 180 degrees thank you very much for your time this morning and i hope we've been able to know how to name angles and then know the types of angles and even know how angles are formed hope to see you tomorrow always remember to leave a comment in the comment section below and never hesitate to reach me on my whatsapp handle 057-611-6204 try and go to the assignment section and see if there's a practice there for you to try your hands on bye